So, Inantio, did I pronounce it correctly? Inantio? Inantio. Inantio. It's uh, nine in the morning. Okay, bye. Inantio. It's a history. This is probably one of the most unique vineyards in the world I've actually ever been to. These are 150, 160 year old vines. They're, we call them pre-phylloxera. There was a bug that basically came from the United States and wiped out the majority of the vines in Europe, except for a few that are grown on sand. And we're basically, the river's right there, and this is all basically just a beach. Is, as you can see, the vine's going this way, and that's because when it floods, the vines kind of go with the water. These are now are obviously super hard and they're not gonna move anymore, but when they were younger, the water would push them. Stepping in this vineyard, it's super compelling in a kind of an emotional way because we're right on the border of Trentino, which, and Alto Adige, which was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But even before that, this is an ancient varietal that's been grown here forever. And to see these vines that are you know, even older than the reunification of Italy in 1861 is, is amazing. And this is a valley kind of where armies throughout history marched up and down and migration of people up and down. Um, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. If these vines could tell us what was going on, I think they'd have a lot to say. Garibaldi. <laughs> they might've been into Garibaldi, I don't know. But uh, I, think, I think what's cool is they, they express themselves in the glass and as cheesy as that may sound, it's these wines are so singular and so unique. When you're tasting it and you're in this valley, it just is a, it's a whole nother experience. And this is about coming to a place that's off the beaten path, drinking a wine that's super unique, that is only in one place and they make minuscule amounts because these vines are, are history. Nome di, di Vigna Ballerina. 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 Yeah. So this is, this is, the, this is one of the oldest vines in the vineyard. And, and you, take, you take one of these canes. Yes, these is me. One of the soft yes, canes. Yes. And you put I it, put a, you yeah. pull it down into the sand. Yeah. And then it grows up again, yeah, creating yeah. a new vine. And it's called, in, in Italiano? Propagine. Propagine. Yeah. Or so, so it's basically self, like self-propagating. So creating a new vine from an existing vine. And you can't do that in, 99% of the vineyards in the world, but here because there's no phylloxera, because the phylloxera can't live here, the vines are able to propagate. So you keep this like old, ancient genetic material to produce this unique varietal. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's super Thank cool. Thank you, Jeff.